In this video, I'm going to show you a few different ways to edit audio tracks in Adobe Premiere Pro. So as you can see here, I have a video and a timeline here. One of the things you could do is turn volume up and down. Click on this little line here and push your line up or down. And you'll notice as I move the line, it changes the decibel amount. It always starts at zero. And then if you want to turn it down, there'll be a negative number. If you'd like to turn it up, it will be a positive number. Alternatively, you can also click on the audio track. So if you're on a PC, you would do right click on your mouse. If you're on a Mac, you would do control then click and you'll get this screen here. Go down to audio gain, adjust the gain or you can set the entire gain to a certain amount or normalize your peaks. In the event where you want to fade the track in and out, you'll notice that there's these squares at the beginning and the end. Press Option and then just drag the square the way that you want it to fade. So you notice as I do this, there's a fade line and then I can control when it starts and when it ends. I could do that both on the front and the end of the audio. So what if you wanted to fade out a particular scene and that scene is in the middle of this? What you do is press Command A or Control A to select everything, do Command K to cut at the section that you wanna do the fade, and then you'll see another square, press Option and you can fade in and out. And let's say another scenario might be that you've done some cuts in your edit. And when you switch from one cut to the next, there's a little click sound or just doesn't sound natural in terms of the flow of conversation. Go to your effects panel. I typically keep it on the side. And in the event where your effects panel is not visible to you, you can go to view and effects. And then in the search bar, type in exponential fade. And you'll see it here, it's under crossfade. If you drag exponential fade between the two clips, what it will do is create a fade in between the two clips. And you'll see that if you zoom into the timeline. So right now it's going to fade in that duration. Sometimes that's a little bit too much, especially if there's conversation. Align your cursor with the edge of this fade and then you can drag it in if you don't want it to be that far. You just have to close it in really tight and then put it right over the middle of that clip. In the event where it's way too small and you can't get it accurate, you can also drag the clip again. And you'll notice that in your effect controls, it shows a little exponential fade screen. Typically, I like to center it at the cut. If you want it to start at the beginning of your cut or end at the beginning of your cut, you could do that too. In terms of more specific audio edits, there are two ways that I do this. If you're familiar with using Adobe Audition, you can simply right click and then edit the clip in Audition, add more effects, and then once you save, it'll automatically sync to your Premiere Pro file. And if you want to replace this audio, then you can watch my tutorial on how to replace the audio track in Premiere Pro and eliminate a track completely and replace it with something else. That was a tutorial on different ways that you can edit sound in Premiere Pro. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thank you.